Ladies and gentlemen, it's me again, your instructor, Bassam Abu Zaid, and this is our uh, fifth lecture. I think it is the fifth lecture. Uh, in lecture four, we ended up doing the exercise, or the first exercise, or reading the idioms, the, uh, the words and idioms list. Okay, and we finished reading the passage or the story. Today, or in this lecture, we start the first exercise, and um, that is on page 22. Page 22. Exercise page 22 about understanding sequence. Okay, and as I said before, okay, the exercises in the book all through the 15 units are in a way uh, similar in terms of style they follow the same style okay so here we had the something similar to this exercise in our understanding sequence that means to put the uh, sentences or statements that we have from A to H okay in the sequence order, okay, in the time order. Sequence means to put in the in, in order. What happens first, second, third, fourth, fifth, according to the story. Okay? So from A to H, what happened first in the story? Okay, you, you are given number one as an example. Number one is given for you. Which is number C. We got up early and put on our bean picking clothes. And this is number one. So what could be number two? What could be number two in terms of sequence of actions? <clears throat> number two, what happened next? What happened then? Is it A, B or F, G or H? Okay, I hope that you did that uh, by yourselves before today's lecture because you need to do the exercises on your own before you uh, see them recorded and you know answered by me. So number two, the best answer is F. So F is number two. F is number two. Then we. Number two. F is number two. Okay, what could be next? What is number three? A, B, C, D. The best is on page. 23 is number G. So, 3. 4. What happened next? So, 3. Uncle John. Okay, let's say 2. 2. We made lunches to take with us and we put them into paper sacks. Then what happened? Happened. Lower number 3. Uncle John came to town to pick us uh, up in his yellow truck. Okay, then what happened later? According to the story. According to the story, what happened? D, I think, is the best answer. Okay, then happened D. Uh, we, we chose a row of beans and began to pick the beans, to pick them. Okay, then what happened next? What happened next? What could be as number five? Number five, our bags... Lua number H. Our bags of beans were weighed and we got there a three cents for every pound. Our bags of beans were weighed and we got three cents for every pound. Then what could be six? Six is number E. E. Uncle John drove the truck back to town with us in the 
back. Then, what is number seven? And the last, seven and last, is okay, one minute. Here, uh, there is we picked our beans all morning, afternoon, we chose okay, sorry, there should be one minute, there is here, an error we need to do it uh, to write the numbers again okay uh, we chose a row of beans and began to pick them we picked beans all morning afternoon so uh, D as 4 and 5 okay again we do it again please so A as number 5 a as number five. A as five. Okay. And B as seven. Okay. And then we go to next page. Okay, D as four. Okay, E as uh, eight. E as eight, sorry. F as two. Okay, G as 3 H as 6 ok I repeat them again for you so the right order is C as number 1 we got up early and put on our beans picking clothes 2 then which is number F we made lunches to take with us and we put them into paper sacks 3 Uncle John's G uh, number G, uh, Uncle John came to town to pick us up in, the, in his yellow truck. Four, which is number D, we chose a row of beans and began to pick them. Five, which is number uh, A, we picked beans all morning and all afternoon. Then six, six is number H, our bags of beans were weighed and we got the three cents for each pound. Then, last, Okay, okay, and that's all. Okay, that's all. That's all. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that means seven. In, uh, <clears throat> in the final exam, you know, such exercises will not be of any uh, high importance. They will not be very important. Okay, the, unless they are used, you know, in a multiple choice question, but very unlikely to be used. Okay, but these things for you to practice at home and then to make sure that you understand you know the, the details of the uh, reading passage okay next exercise B is the same B is the same talking about the sequence of action okay putting actions in the right order in the right time order first second third okay and let's begin uh, B in the blank in front of each sentence write 2 to 8 to show that you know the order of the part of the story about uh, the turkeys okay number one is made for you what D D as number one so what happened then we went to the farm to pick beans and earn some money then what happened number B 2 B as 2 the day was too hot to be in the fields at noon so we went to take a rest then what happened okay number F okay number F my cousin and I found a cool place to rest okay then what happened what came after H lower number four is H both Okay, four. 
both of us fell asleep okay then what happened what is uh, what happened next Lua number A okay as five we woke up we, we uh, and we could feel eyes on us as five <clears throat> then what happened number six what what could it be which is number C there was a great halabulo okay great noise from the turkeys and then last is number seven which is the last one and it should be G we escaped from the turkeys number C exercise number C is the same okay talking about a sequence of action oh sequence of actions putting the actions in the time and the correct time order okay the instructions these are the instructions we call here okay what do we call these these are the instructions okay instructions our directions you have to read the directions or the instructions of any exercise or of any question before before you start answering okay which is very important for you okay we go to number C number C is the same what happened first number one is also done for you which is E number E okay it is E on the next page page 24 E 24 as one okay what could be as number two what is number two okay number one number one is a, thun uh, a thunderstorm was coming so what happened next number H Ted and I went to the middle to get the cows Ted and I went to the middle to get uh, the cows okay then what happened as number three number three is as number A Lua letter A sentence sentence A okay sentence A and that is what the cows were okay the cows were Okay, the cows came peacefully to the barn. Okay, then what happened? Number four, what is number four here? Number four is, the yearling was afraid to go into the barn. So, she wouldn't move. So, there was an exception. So, this is number four. Okay, then what happened next? As number five. Number five is, letter F sentence F sentence F Uncle John and his son Dan tried to pull the yearling into the barn number five okay okay then what is number six number six is on the previous page on page 23 and that is Uh, number we are now in number six and number six is uh, C number six is C C is number six Ted asked if he could try okay then what happened Ted pulled back on the yearling tail which is what D D is number seven okay then what is number eight and last which is on the next page number G on the next page the yearling ran straight into the barn the year number eight okay and that's all for this exercise next exercise which is very important and that is what we call the comprehension uh, questions 
okay the wh questions okay about you know details from the uh, text what time okay let's read the instructions read the instructions first read the instructions ta'limat okay here instructions the instructions say read these questions think about the answers and then discuss the answers with your classmates with your colleagues with your friends in the classroom number one number one what could it be number one is what time did uncle john come to town to pick up the bean pickers what time did Uncle John come to town to pick up the bean pickers? Okay, going to ask bean pickers. Okay, what time? Okay, I have here the questions, I mean, the answers for you on this page. Okay, okay, which is what? He came to town every morning and then you have the line number where you can find uh, the answer just to help you more to locate the answers to these questions at the end of each answer or next to each answer there is uh, a line number for here number one he came to town every morning that is uh, in line 13 next why didn't he come earlier? And what made him not to come earlier than that? Okay? Because, as it is said uh, in line uh, 15, because he made two stops. Because he made two stops. Because he made two stops. Okay? Or because he had to make two stops. Either way, same. Either this one or this one. Both are correct one of them are or or because they are, they are the same okay but the wording is different okay number three what is number three why did the children wear light colored shirts with long sleeves okay why did the children wear light colored shirts with long sleeves children when they started working they had to uh, wear light colored shirts with long sleeves okay shirts so what is that why why is that because how to protect themselves from the sun to protect themselves from the sun to protect themselves from the sun to protect Okay, to protect themselves from the sun. Okay, next. How much can a gunny sack hold? A gunny sack. When a gunny sack is what? What does gunny sack mean? Gunny sack is a kind of sack. Okay, it's a kind of bag. A special kind of bag. Okay? Okay, okay. but how does it hold? يعني كم تأخذ كم تستوعب من من الوزن؟ okay okay if you refer to line twenty one huh uh, line sorry thirty a gunny sack hold could hold sorry seventy pounds seventy pounds you can just say seventy pounds is enough or if you like to say seventy pounds of beans that's still okay line thirty line thirty Okay, a gunny sack. Next is number five. What other use did they have for gunny sacks besides holding beans? As you see here, this question doesn't have a, a direct and uh, a literal answer. You don't find the, the, the answer or you take it directly from the passage. Okay, this is sort of a free answer. I mean, that's from uh, uh, something that it depends on your knowledge or your general knowledge or just uh, uh, something that you infer 
يعني ان 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 فرانس كويستشن سؤال استنتاجي قال له تو هولد وات اوكي وات ار اذر يوز وات اذر يوز ديد ذي هاف فور غاني ساكس بيسايدز هولدينج بينز شو الاستعمالات الاخرى لهذا الكياس الخيس ممكن تكون اوكي okay. ذير ار ماني يعني ذير ار اوت اوف يعني انسرز فور ذس هي فور ذا تو هولد عشان يوضع فيها يعني تو هولد ويت رايس شوجر اور اي ثينك ذات يو كان ثينك اباوت اغاني ساك ذس سبيشال كايند اوف باك كان بي فور ا لوت اوف ثينجز تو هولد ا لوت اوف ثينجز فايف او سوري سكس How much does a gunny sack weigh? How much does a, a gunny sack weigh? Shani weigh? Yazin. Okay? Yani kam wazin al kis al khish fadi. Okay? How much does a gunny sack weigh? As it is in uh, line 33. Okay? It weighs 2 pounds. 2 pounds. It weighs. Two pounds, يعني about a kilo, يعني nearly, approximately uh, a kilogram. Seven. Who was Dan? Dan. There is one name of uh, one of the characters whose name is Dan. Who is Dan? Who could that be? He is what? In line seventy-eight. Huh? He is what? John's adult son. Dan is John's adult son. Oh, he is John's adult son. Ibn al-Akbar la John. John's adult son. Eight. Line 87. Next. Eight. Why did Mrs. Miller go to pick beans? This is also an indirect uh, question. Yani that you do, um, the, the answer to this question is also not mentioned uh, literally. Okay, so you have to infer it, and that is what. Why did Mrs. Miller go to pick beans? Of course, and for sure. Okay, she needed money because she needed money, and this is also an inference question. She needed money. Nine. How did Mrs. Miller help the storyteller? Okay. How did uh, Mrs. Miller help the storyteller? We're going to ask the storyteller, the one narrator. Okay. The storyteller, the narrator. Okay. The one writing the story. We're going to I, I. Okay. The story. Like how how is he helped or she? How is he or she helped by Mrs. Miller? And this is also. Something that we infer. It's not directly mentioned, but you can infer it. Yeah, you can guess it uh, from uh, your understanding to the uh, story. Okay? And then, uh, she helped Mrs. Miller, يعني, Mrs. Miller, okay? She helped him in earning more money to buy clothes, our clothes, and a gold wristwatch. Okay? She helped him how? She helped, she helped him, or oh, hey, uh, she helped him or oh, helped her. That mean I mean you know Mrs. Miller she Mrs. Miller here Mrs. Miller helped the storyteller that's why him or her Mrs. Miller helped the storyteller him or her because we don't we don't know whether the story is a man or a woman a boy or a girl indirectly Mrs. Miller helped the storyteller indirectly how the storyteller imitated. Mrs. Miller and working hard and that is how he earned more money imitated to imitate means what? to imitate imitate to do something similar to what someone else is doing okay what is okay and هو Mrs. الراوي تبع القصة قلد Mrs. Miller في عملها الجاد و so he earned more money وبالتالي حصل على فلوس أكثر واشترى حاجاته أو اشترت حاجاته. Okay. Next and last is number ten. Uh, 
10. Piggy, sorry. Who was Piggy? Who was Piggy? Piggy was what? Piggy was the storyteller or the narrator's cousin. Piggy is or Piggy was. We can go. Piggy was the storyteller's or the narrator's cousin. Piggy was the storyteller's or the narrator's cousin. Bint Am or Khal wrote the story. Piggy was or is the storyteller's or the narrator's cousin. Questions? I hope I'm clear. And I hope you can follow me uh, of what I'm saying here, of what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, uh, then we come to the next exercise uh, on page 24. Next exercise on 24, and this is uh, what uh, they call here drawing conclusions from the story. Drawing conclusions from the story by deciding whether these statements uh, from 1 to 15, okay, you have from 1 to 15, whether they are true, oops, true or false, okay. Write it true or false next uh, to each item or to the left of each uh, statement. Okay? According to uh, your knowledge or your understanding, uh, to your understanding of the reading passage. Okay? So you, your answer should be based on your information, your knowledge, your understanding to the story. Number one. Uncle John sold the beans for three cents a pound. Is this true or false? No, this is false. Because he gave three cents for each pound to the children, to the workers. So for sure he sold the beans for more than three cents a pound. So this is false. Beans are ready to pick in July. Yes, true. This is the season of picking uh, beans. Next, number three. Uncle John needed a lot of clean empty gunny sacks every day and that is true. Of course if we if they mean here they, uh, he needs or he needed empty clean gunny sacks every day uh, and, uh, uh, during the days of the season of picking beans. If he means in general, you know, all through the year, this is a different story. So at this year, I think three should be true according to the passage or to the story. Four, an adult could earn between five to ten dollars a day working on a farm. This is also an inference question. If you uh, look at the at the details, I'll read the details uh, on line 36. Line 36. Okay, you can uh, see the, or uh, this will help you to find the idea, I mean the, the answer. An adult could earn between five and ten dollars a day working on a farm and that is true okay because each uh, each adult you know takes about uh, three cents per or for each pound so if someone works let's say one hundred uh, I mean if someone picks one hundred or uh, two hundred pounds that means he'll gain three dollars to six from three dollars to six dollars, because for each one hundred 
pounds you gain about three dollars so if you pick I mean if someone picks 200 pounds that means he'll gain or he'll earn uh, six dollars okay this is sort of an inference question okay inference question هذا برضه سؤال استنتاجي okay لأنه على كل مئة باوند بيعطيهم ثلاثة سنت إذا ثلاثة سنت لما نضرب بمئة باوند بمئة باوند فبطلع ثلاث دولارات okay والمئتين باوند okay بطلع كم ست دولارات لأنه ثلاث ثلاثة سنت لكل باوند so it is true from five to six dollars a day. Number six or five, sorry. Five. Children are better. Children are okay. Children are better workers than adults. Children are better workers than adults. That is, you know, يعني of general sense, you say no, of course. Children cannot be, يعني in most probably cannot be better workers than adults. So false. This is false. They might be better than adults in, يعني in some cases, in few cases. But according to the passage, no, adults are better because. Mrs. Miller is an example. As an adult lady, she could earn more than the children because she separated the work from play. But you know, the children were you know uh, play, working and playing at the same time. So that's why they did not earn yani, enough money. Or they did not earn or get money like Mr. Uh, like Mrs. Miller. And then fourth, six. The noon sun can be dangerous that is also true this is a general sense knowledge okay true the noon sun can be dangerous لشمس الظهرية حارفة so dangerous yes true seven children like to play that is na- that is very natural okay that is the nature of children they like to play true eight a lot of noise can be frightening that is also general sense true a lot of noise can be Frightening for anybody. If you are anywhere, if you hear a lot of noise, you may get scared or be frightened. Nine hawks eat turkeys. Yes, because hawks, as you see in the definition, if you refer to the uh, words and uh, idioms list, you find the uh, they say that uh, hawks eat other animals, birds and other animals. So true, they eat turkeys because turkeys are animals, are birds. A kind of bird, a kind of bird, and then true. Ten, some people can feel others looking at them. I think this is also a general sense. You can also say yes, true, because you can feel. If someone is looking at you, you can feel it. Anywhere, if you are anywhere and you are surrounded, there are other people in the place where you are in. You can feel if there other people are looking at you or not. Yes, you can feel it. Eleven. Eleven. The turkeys settled into the grass to sleep when they heard the whirring sound. The turkey settled into the grass to sleep when they heard the whirring sound. Yes, they became they became calmer, quieter when they when they when uh, the narrator starts saying so they just uh, settled and they became quiet. True. So it is true. Uh, Twelve, the sky gets light before a thunderstorm. The, st- the sky gets light before a thunderstorm. Okay. The light here, يعني opposite dark. So the as you, and if you refer to line seventy-seven. Line 77. Okay. Uh, 
uh, in line 77, it says, you know, uh, it gets dark. Here it says, get light. No, it gets dark. So, this is false. It gets dark, not fall, not light. Number 13. It's dangerous for cows to be in a middle during a bad thunderstorm. That is also true. That's why uh, Uncle John was, you know, curious uh, to get, you know, the cows into the barn, into the store, into the stable. True. 14. Horses don't ever go into a barn. Okay. Do they go into a barn? Horses? I think it's just like cows. They do. I hope I'm not mistaken here because it's also an inference question. But I think uh, if it should be tables, okay, so this might be wrong. So if barn means uh, a place or a store or let's say an area uh, to keep uh, all animals, I mean like uh, horses, cows and horses, so that could be true. Horses don't ever go into bars, so this is false because they do. See, this is don't, huh? Don't. No, they do go into barns, like cows. Okay, so false. Because if you say true, that means they don't. You are yani, negating what is already negated. Fifteen, and last, all cows are stubborn. Is that true? No, it's not true. It is false. هل كانت كل الأبقار uh, عنيدة؟ No. They all went into the barn peacefully except the yearling. Except the yearling. بس هو العجل فقط الصغير هذا اللي عند. Okay. Next exercise اللي هو finding the main idea in context. Finding the main idea in context. You have here uh, sentences with, underli with underlined words or, uh, or idioms. So please give the meaning of each underlined item or each underlined phrase or word uh, as uh, A, B, o, C, or D. Okay? Just circle. What does it say here? Circle. Which meaning is closest to the underlined word or words? Circle A, B, C, or D. Okay? Number one. What could it be? What is the right answer to number one? I learned a lot about having a goal in life from picking beans on the farm. So, a goal means what? A. Motivation. B. Common sense. C. A good lunch. D. Another lesson. Motivation is the best. Motivation. Next, the gunny sacks weigh two pounds. So Uncle John took off. He took off two pounds from the weight of the full bags to weigh just the beans. Took off. That means what? He A figured out, B hired, C deducted, D stretched out. took off, took off lower as it is in the passage to deduct, deducted يخصم من next is number three the turkeys were frightened by us when we woke up they made a lot of noise a lot of noise what is what is another word to say for a lot of noise. Dark. 
dark, teri, day, den. Dark, teri, day, den. Huh? As you see, if you refer to the uh, list of words and idioms, you'll find the meaning of this word. So, a lot of noise means den. Then, next page. Next page, number four. Number four. Each of us had a paper bag with a lunch and a pail. To put our beans in. Okay? A pail. What does pail mean? Sack, bucket, hat, shirt, A, B, C, O, D. Bucket. Bucket. Next is five. The gunny sacks were made of a thick, coarse cloth. Coarse means what? Rough, tough, and cushion. مصنوع من قماش خشن سميك ثقيل بيبا هلابلو بيرلاب غراس بيرلاب is the best بيرلاب six the turkeys were on all sides of us the turkeys were all they were on all sides of us. That means what? Stretch out on, bolted toward, ran to, or surrounded. 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 Okay, surrounded. Number D. Next seven, the horses were all in their places in the barn. They were all, this is an answer, this answer of the question before. Lua, do all, uh, horses do not go into barns. Yes, they do go into barns. Okay, so, what we said uh, was, yani, right. Okay, so, um, for true false statements. Previous, the previous exercise, item 14, false Okay, that's true. So what we said was true. Okay, because this is a proof. Anyway, back to seven. Seven. The horses were all in their places in the barn. Places in the barn. That means what? Barns, meadows, buildings, stalls. Stalls. Stalls means a place in their place in the barn. Okay? Place in the barn called stalls. Next and last, the three turn beautiful colors in the fall. The trees turn beautiful colors in the fall. Fall means what? Fall is here is meant to be as a season. Autumn, herd, barn, then. Fall is what? Al Kharif, another meaning of Al Kharif. Fall, autumn. Next is the matching exercise. The matching exercise. Okay, we do the matching exercise before the end of the lecture today. Matching new words and meanings, and as I said before, to match, to put together, to join. Okay? To link, match, matchmaking, okay? Remember this idiom as matchmaking and matchmaker, okay? We call the matchmaker, Lil Khattab, matchmaker, or Khattab, okay? And matchmaking, here we talk about matching, you know, meanings of words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, to A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J. Okay, we we'll go to number one, bucket. What does bucket mean? 
A, B, C, D, D, R, A, F, G, H, I, J. What does bucket mean? Okay, it's number D. D, bucket is D. Okay, Leish, pair. Next, halabulo. What does halabulo mean? Halabulo. Okay, uh, let me read the, the uh, before we start, let me read the items for you. I'll read them first. Number one, bucket, halabulo. I hope you all, yani you know all the meanings. I mean, the meanings of the, uh, these words, all. Bucket, halabulo, and sack, pick, stretch out, strong, foot, middle, yearling. Most of the of these words are explained in the list of words and idioms. The meanings of these words are in the list of words and idioms right after the reading passage. Okay, bucket is what? D. Pay. Halabulo. What is halabulo? Noise. Loud noise. What? H, then F. F. Earn, to earn, to get, okay? To earn means A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, huh? J, N, to pay. H. H. For sack. Sack. What does sack mean? B. It's a bag, a kind of bag. Oh, it's a bag. Another word for sack is bag. When I was going to suck in Arabic, you know, I was suck. He's sack in English. Pick. Five pick. What does pick mean? Pick is number I to pluck. Pick. Number I. Pluck. I. Pluck. Six. Stretch out. Six, stretch out. What does stretch out mean? Stretch out is number E, to rest. To rest. Strong, what is strong? What does it mean? Number one, brawn. Number A, strength, brawn, strength. Foot, what is a word that? gives the meaning of foot or yani close to or another way to express the word foot foot is huh? number C hoof foot plural feet hoof plural hooves nine middle middle what does middle mean field J J field J field yearling last and the only one left is G yearling is G young cow young cow Okay, that's all for today and we call it a class and hope to see you uh, soon in another lecture in lecture number six and please make sure that you read the stories you understand them uh, look up the difficult words in the dictionaries and do the exercises on your own before you see them uh, in the uh, video tapes or before you see them recorded in the lecture and you know before they, you see the answers given by me okay try to answer the questions by yourselves first then refer to the answers that you are uh, given here or that I give you in the lecture please don't forget what I said before in the first class that the textbook is available uh, at the main you know uh, bookstores everywhere in uh, in Al-Hassa here or wherever you are in the Mam or 
in Riyadh or wherever. And then for those students in Al Hassa, I said it's also available at the <coughs> photocopying center, Al Abrar photocopying center <coughs> on campus. Okay? Mutwafar al Kitab, fi al Markiz al Abrar, tabah al Taswir. وإذا مش موجود في جهة الجزء البنات ممكن يطلبوا لكم إياه. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much and I uh, hope you enjoy your time and uh, see you soon. السلام عليكم.